Good morning, world. How you guys doing? So today, when I went out the door, I realized, oh man, it's gonna rain. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. I mentioned it in a couple of videos. And the thing that sucks is that we don't plan for it, so I really wanted to go ride today, but since it's looking pretty gloomy, I don't wanna risk going all the way to a spot, having it pour, and then not being able to get a video for you guys. So, what does that mean? Well, change of plan, of course. Before I get to that, as I came out to my doorstep, I saw a package. So let's see what we got here. All right, so the package is from FP Insoles, and let's see what they got for your boy here. Hmm. All right, for starters, we got some insoles. So these are really awesome. They really help cushion your feet when you do big drops and high impact stuff. Got a pair of those. So I guess there's two different kind of shock absorbers here. These socks are actually super sick, so you won't be able to feel them, obviously. But in the shin area, they actually have a pad, so that'll keep you from getting shinners. And then on the ankle bone, they actually have some protection as well, so that's pretty nifty. Have a pretty cool hat, some underwear, and some jeans. Huh, these look pretty good. What do you guys think? Should I uh, change the swag up? All right, ready, set. What do you guys think? A little better? A little worse? Whatever, we're gonna rock it today. All right, so follow FP Insoles on Instagram and check them out. And now, back to the video. All right, as I was mentioning, since it might rain, I had to change the plans a little bit. So you know what? We're about to head to Best Buy and I'm gonna pick up a drone. Yeah, I really admire John Hicks and all the videos that he makes. So I'm gonna get a little crafty and try to be like him a little bit. Not by his swag at all, but you know, just looks really sick. So here's the plan. We're gonna go to Best Buy. We're gonna pick the best drone. We're gonna figure out how to fly it. And then we're gonna get some shots right now. Probably go around Long Beach, maybe Signal Hill. And then I'm gonna go and watch some football games and then come back home. And then I'm gonna film hopefully sunset. And if it's raining, that should be interesting. I don't know how drones fly in the rain, but this is my first time ever flying it. This might end bad, but you're here for the ride, right? So it'll be for your entertainment. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm not really like this type of hat guy. I think these are like five panel hats and they're kind of loose. So, if you like this hat, looks kinda cool, leave me a reason in the comments why I should give it to you, and I'll pick a winner later, and I'll send it out to you. Oh yeah, since we're going to the mall, let's look stylish. Let's grab us an M6. What do you guys think? Let's take her out for a ride. Ooh, fancy. I don't know how I'm feeling this great interior, but, let's roll. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a heads up display right there, so saying some sort of error message, but we'll ignore that for now. Buckle up for safety, boys. The only bummer is that it's auto tragic. Well, actually it's SMG, so it's kind of like you can shift gears, but there's no clutch. Total cheater move. But yeah, let it roll. Probably should put it in auto. Heads up display. What's the what's tune sounding like? You guys like this jam? Sorry, geeking out. All right, back to driving. All right, let's just get to the mall one piece. All right, so we made it to the Best Buy. Not gonna lie, the carbon fiber finish is pretty sick. Oh, it's up on the armrest here too. Nice. There's a lot of action here. Maybe it wasn't the best day to come by a drone, but it is what it is. All right, so let's see what kind of drone options we got. Got the Phantom 4, got the Phantom 3, the Standard. I guess that one's out. This one looks pretty cool. Damn, this thing's got the virtual reality glasses. That one's pretty cool. What should we get? That little guy, this big bad boy. All right, so I checked out all these different drones that they have. And the one that I'm gonna end up with the Phantom 3, so he's about to go get it for me. I got the last one, apparently, so that's a good thing. He said he had 40 of them yesterday, and there's only one left today, so it's a sign. Crazy key. Yeah. All right, 900 bucks later, we got ourselves a drone. All right, so I'm gonna go charge it for a little bit, and then we're gonna go get this thing to fly. All right, so I set up a little angle here for you guys to see the unboxing, so let's take a look at what we have here. All right, instruction manual, drone apparatus. Got the remote, pretty fancy remote here. Apparently they've been in business for 10 years. Good for them. All right, got the drone. It's actually lighter than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little heavier. All right, got the gimbal. All right, gotta remove that from the gimbal. Should probably put the battery to charge. All right, meanwhile, I'll put the battery and the remote to charge here. 
All right, we'll assemble the drone now. Apparently there's different color propellers here. All right, so now I just gotta wait for it to charge and in no time we'll be flying this new puppy. All right, so we charged it for a little while. It's still not at 100%. I just wanna get like the initial calibrations all set and then I'm gonna let it charge some more. So for now, let's uh, make sure everything's looking good here. Got everything connected. And we're gonna try and start calibrating it. So let's see how this goes. Take Alright, so the first flight was good, second flight was okay, third flight, I almost hit the car, dropped my iPhone 7, barely got a little nick on it, but we're alright. So I'm gonna go get it fully charged now, and maybe <laughs> read some tutorials online. Um, but it was pretty easy actually, it just takes off on its own then it lands on its own. The nerve wracking part was my phone got unplugged and that's what kind of controls like the GPS and all the coordinates. So when my phone got unplugged, I panicked so I just grabbed it out of the air and then just shut it off manually. So back to the drawing board for a little bit. So as you can see, it's starting to rain a little bit. It's on and off. So I'm going to try and go to the park real quick. It's about 85% charged so I think I should be able to get like a good 15 to 20 minutes of flying time. So I'm just gonna fly it around in the rain a little bit and see how she does. All right guys, so it's really raining. I'm gonna try and get this drone flying before it's too late. So wish me luck. Pouring rain, I'm in my trunk. I created like a protective barrier for between me and the rain. And now I'm flying the drone from in here. It's really sketchy at some points, like the camera just went crazy. I guess it got taken by the wind. So it's not the safest conditions for the first day of my drone experience, but it's actually pretty fun. It's a little scary because thousand dollars just floating away from you at any point, but I'm getting the hang of it. So I'm gonna do one or two more takeoffs and then I gotta go home because I'm super cold. My shoes and my interior is super soaked. So is the remote. Luckily the iPhone 7S, waterproof. The drone, not so much, but we're about to find out. Put you to the limits, guys. So first lessons learned, don't learn to fly a drone in the rain. Secondly, use real rain clothes because I am drenched, my shoes are soaked, and at least some of the footage should look good. I gotta figure out what's up with the gimbal thing. It's like not working properly. I don't know what the heck might have happened. Maybe the water shorted it or something. All right, so really important feature, guys. The drone started getting like pushed away by the wind and the storm that's you know, in California right now, and it started like drifting far away. But the Phantom 3 Professional, ooh, it was on sale guys. It has a return to home button, so that was really important. I hit that and the drone came hovering right back and then I could just manually land it. Another feature that is important is that it has beginner mode, which I needed, but wouldn't allow it to fly over a certain altitude and wouldn't let it get further away than, I think it's like 600 meters from me. I don't know, like 1300 feet. I'm gonna dry it off, I'm gonna charge it some more and I'm gonna see if I can tinker with it and then hopefully in an hour or two for another 20 minute session see what kind of footage I can get then. And for now, I'm gonna review the footage that I have while it's charging, and maybe fly some, find some like cool vlog drone music. Maybe I'll see what some of the hicks Oh, text. All right, be right back. All right, yeah, after it dried off a bit, I think we're back in action. As you can see, the gimbal is operational. 
There's a quick button here that makes it like drop all the way down. As you can see that's working fine now. And then let's see if like the manual gliding is available. And yeah, that seems to be working fine. So, still figuring it out guys. I'm gonna tinker with it some more and then Right around sunset, I'm gonna try and go out for another cruise. All right guys, so it hasn't stopped raining, but it let off a bit. My hair's already ruined, I'm wearing a hoodie, so I think I'll be all right. So I'm gonna go to a different spot to change up the scenery a little bit, and we're gonna give it one more flight, and hopefully it turns out all right. I've been editing some of the footage and it's pretty cool, but there's a problem where water keeps getting on the camera and forming like little bubbles, so I'm gonna see if I can get less of that this time around. I think I figured out a workaround. So, drone test number two. Let's do it. I got. It's my first day, so don't be too harsh. And it's my first time flying a drone in the rain or in good conditions whatsoever. So I'm gonna go chop this up for you guys and put it online. Let me know what you guys think. If you don't like it, I'm gonna return this bad boy tomorrow. If you do, let me know and then I'll keep doing it. But you know what it is. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And pray for us. It's raining. Alright guys, much love. Peace. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Time to live, but that we waste a lot of time.